Well, if you've kept to your New Year's resolution, your gym membership is still intact. That's the good news. Perhaps you feel better or perhaps your muscles are so sore you can barely move. It is possible that the worst soreness can actually come a couple of days after you start exercising. Why? Our Why Guy has the answer. Time to shape up or ship out. Maybe it's been a while, so you expect to be sore after a day of vigorous exercise. You hurt some the day after, and then it hits you. Two days after the gym, you're hobbling around the house, wondering why it took so long for the worst pain. It's called delayed onset muscle soreness. It can happen to anyone working muscles they aren't accustomed to working. Like when I take a Zumba class even, and I'm moving my hips in a certain way that I haven't moved them, I'm so sore I can't even sit down barely. <laughs> Soreness after any kind of new exercise can hit you 24 to 48 hours later. A hard workout breaks down your muscles so your body can rebuild them and make them stronger. Exercise physiologists tell us your muscles swell, causing soreness and pain, but your body delays the rebuilding and healing process just a bit. Enzymes in your body have to do some house cleaning first. You've got to take care of the surrounding tissue before you can, you know, actually rebuild. You start feeling it one day after, and then that second day it's really bad. It's because they're doing a little bit extra. It happens if you haven't exercised in a while, but avid runners can feel it if they switch to something different, like biking or skiing. The best way to reduce the soreness or pain, ease into any new activity. Ease into it. If you have a question for Jerry Carnes, our Why Guy, send it on over through Facebook, Twitter, or email. The checklist is up next.